Happy solstice, everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to be reading from my new book, Bappy Doesn't Love Me No More. Um, and this is all about becoming. This one's called Palettes Through Time. Rose, the labia pulsating hope that arrows outlives Jehovah. The fingers so rosy with the coming dawn, tracing circles all around the body's corridors, underneath the comforter, winter's romantic interior. Everything would turn rose under the comforter in the soft light. There is nothing to see in these moments. Just feel the eternality in the fingertips. I taste the sweet impressions of reverence that exists between permanence and impermanence. Gold. The golden flames breaking through midnight across the face of sinners, which I find to be old friends, old lovers, memories of colors and touches. The priest utters, let there be light, with his fingers returning us to him, immersed in the priest's holiness and the decadence of the Catholic Church. I prayed that my knees would never grow too weak for me to kneel. I would pray my soul would never be too weak to surrender. Then you ask why I wish to remain on my knees. I whisper in your ear, that is because I love you. Ivory, visions of the Christmas I drove through the sprawl with an ex-lover, the twinkling of the lights on the houses and the opalescence of the moon all shining in their temporality, then fading into the gray shades at airport security. To be so young and convinced families would leave their Christmas lights up all year, that spring would never come, that birds never truly knew a home. Blue, the color of the sky right after sunset. Winter told me to keep fighting for you and that you'll be home soon. In between gray, I found bright blues, lighting up the cold bedroom with hope. There was a church choir lamenting past the blue skies into the heavens. Come home, come home to the light. And I persisted. This next one is called Melusine. There is no man to love here, no womb to fill. In between sea and land, abuse and love, mom told me to plunge. We were born sirens prone to sea foam demise. My robes fall to the rocks, sea salt, a call to nature's limbo. Blue robes whisk away like angels, and the moon shines on my feet, plunging into the sea as one part fish, one part warm blood. A kind-hearted man may bring us to grass, meadow, wood. We can give ourselves away, warm blood, warm devotion, or our bodies disintegrate into sea foam. Woman must plunge the inevitable risk. Thank you. God bless all of you.